the Loma in Point Loma, the Spanish for hill, and it offers a stunning view. Some of the higher places in San Diego offer the greatest views of their surroundings. Like on Mount Soledad, these places offer a larger perspective, but they're just a tiny part of San Diego's overall appeal. A lot of it has to do with the people who used to live here. So let's take a trip to Mount Hope. It's not really a mountain, it's just a hilly region, home of one of San Diego's oldest cemeteries. Here lie the memorials, crypts and graves of some of those who've come and gone in the past, but refuse to be forgotten by the present, and thusly are preserved for the future. The cemetery was founded in 1869, the same year Ulysses S. Grant was sworn in as president. That's old. I noticed this tiny memorial to another cemetery nearby that was converted into a park. They took the gravestones from there and buried them here as a memorial to those once forgotten to never be forgotten again. But back to the mountain view. Let's take a hike. So we're at Kyle's Mountain yep. and uh, we're going to go trek it. Cowles Mountain Staging Area. Oh, I was spelling it wrong. There we go, let's go. I was also pronouncing it wrong too. It's pronounced Coles. <sighs> tired already. Oh, it's starting to look pretty nice from here though. Over there in the distance, that's Lake Murray. Coles Mountain is part of a system of hiking trails named after an old pioneer named George Coles. It's a mile and a half long hike that brings you about 1,500 feet up and in itself tells of a past geological history that was active. If you're not too tired from the hike to notice. We there? <laughs> Don't tell Carlos, but for a lazy guy like me, it certainly was a challenge. Still right there. From the top of Coles, you can see all the way to the oblivion of the Pacific, as well as the city, Mexico, Mission Gorge, Lake Murray, and East County. There's Mission Gorge in the distance. Like aerial shots of the coastline, seeing parts of the city from above makes one understand why people like to come here. It's one big, beautiful Kodak moment. Another lizard. See how close I can get. Up, oh, it's gone. SDSU painted an S on the side of the mountain beginning in 1931, but it was covered by the military during World War II, and eventually people stopped calling it S Mountain. The practice stopped in the 1980s. There's that lizard again. How close can I get to him? without falling off the mountain. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Oh, he's chasing that fly. The longer one stays, the more one notices the cool rock formations on the summit. Geology rocks. The rock, the way the layers are, seem to be shaped, kind of twists downward. This rock here, like these rocks here, it, they're kind of trippy, like inside of them, they have this layer or this band that's a little different. And there's like a few of them, like this one that goes down and it, it actually cuts through the rock. So that band continues all the way down. And of course cuts through the end, but yeah. Whatever it is, it's different from the rock that it's surrounded by. The layers might be what remains of an ancient beach. And yes, we're still talking about the top of a mountain. There's like a squirrel over there. Squirrel! So I found this split rock. And you can see it's a rock that is not just split into two, but split into three. The only thing powerful enough to crack rocks like that is heat and the rocks are a form of pumice, which is usually formed when hot lava cools quickly. Seeing as we're near the coast, I'm pretty sure it was by water. 
Ah, there's the plaque. The plaque that nobody reads. The plaque that we're not gonna read. <laughs> Let's go back down the mountain. I'm pretty sure we just walked up a beach volcano, but we're not done yet. Want to see where the San Diego River begins? So we're taking this really, really windy road. Oh yes, really windy. Like a, over the, you know, around the mountains, over the mountains, whatever, through the mountains, over the river, through the woods. <laughs> Rain falls over these fertile lands that lead westward toward the Pacific. As we head east though, we see a steady course of mountainous greens. In this, far from the city, yet still in the county, one begins to appreciate just how diverse this land of St. Didicus really is. We even have a desert. Woo! Free plains and open roads! Woo! Well, not really free, oh, just some mountains and stuff, but woo, flatlands. We're going there. Mount San Miguel. Mount San Miguel is actually to the south and not the east, but who cares, just look at it. This five mile hike will get you almost 1800 feet up and it's a real challenge. But seeing as this is all for my daughters, I ain't gonna give up. Okay, we've only been hiking for like five minutes and look at the view. So we're about halfway from where we were. This is the, uh, this flag represents where we're supposed, where we're at, halfway. And uh, if you look over here, you can see the city, San Diego, you can see Point Loma, you can see Coronado, that's awesome. You can see the Coronado Islands over there, Chula Vista, East Lake. After a couple of patriotic shots, it's time to move on to the top. So, we're continuing on. We're not Mexico, Mexico, San Diego, there's fell up and we're almost there. Now if it wasn't for all these cables, Spring Valley would look much better. We finally get to the top and believe me, it was worth it. I couldn't believe the captivating views before my eyes. So over there's downtown Coronado, Point Loma. You can, I think that's Mount Soledad over there where La Jolla would be. Spring Valley is around here. And then from up there, you can see the city, you can see the little reservoir there. To the south, Mexico, some of the Mexican mountains over there, Coronado Islands, it's beautiful. Southeast, and it's just wow, look at all that, it's just mountains. Look at that, look at the plain. Look at the plain. You know, it's trippy because the plane's right there, San Diego Airport's right there, we could actually sit here and watch this thing land. Although I don't think, I think that would be kind of boring. Instead, I took in the vast land to the southeast. It looks like a beautiful painting and so different from the usual busy landscape of San Diego. I think this is the parts of the area that most tend to miss. And now it's time to go back down. Oh wow, like coming back down from up there, that's where we just came from. And uh, look at this, like I, I didn't realize this when we first came down here, but apparently they've been here for a while. Someday, I'm gonna learn how to do this. Just watch. Look at this, we, we just saw this. We didn't see it, this is something else we didn't see before. That's pretty cool, just the rock, the way the rock formations just stick out of the ground. Studying rocks can tell you lots of things about your surroundings, if you know what to look for. The lesson here is, learn your rocks. And here we are back where the flag is. Look at that, the sun's starting to come down over the, over the city. It's starting to get all foggy. And as Philip and I eat and recover, we can reminisce on the monumentous views of the mountains we just witnessed and remind ourselves just how lucky we are to call this place home.